Cinco de Mayo, and that means one thing. It's time to cook some Mexican food. Here with some delicious recipes is the author of Latin Delight, our friend, celebrity chef Ingrid Hoffman is here. Como estas? Yo muy bien, y tu amiga? Ah? Ingrid, uh, what are we making? We are starting out with a delicious, fresh watermelon and mango salsa. Then we're moving on to some enchilada suizas. And then, the best for last, we're going to have a beer and tequila cocktail. Well, let's get started. So what are we doing? Very easy. We're going to start out with a cup of watermelon, seeded, cubed, small cubes, a little bit of mango. The sombrero is like almost not letting me cook. <laughs> <laughs> we got some cucumber, one cup of diced cucumber. We've got some nice, delicious herbs, both cilantro and parsley. Oh, no. What I know? It's the only, look, Mexican is my favorite food group, but cilantro is not my business. You know why? Because you actually have a gene that allows you to taste it like soap. And it is genetic, yeah. by the way. Is it? It is. Absolutely. I mean, I tolerate it because I'm a foodie, so I, I will soldier on. You should have told me. I would have made it for you without the cilantro. <laughs> Little bit of jalapeno. Mm -hmm. The jalapeno will make your hair rice. Perfect. Little bit of lime. And we've added salt and pepper to taste. We mix that up. We've got some ready to go. You need to let it sit a little bit so yes. that all of those flavors get the wedding marriage salsa, there going. I'm really tasting the watermelon. It's very fresh. Very delicious. It's my own take on a salsa, just to do things different. Well, you're Give it a that. twist. Okay. <laughs> What's the next thing? Here we go. To our salsa verde, okay. which is the base of the enchilada suizas. Okay. So we, we're going to do it from scratch, very easy. We've got some tomatillos, about six, some poblanos, okay. little bit of cilantro, little oh, bit of yeah. onion. There we go again. <laughs> okay, what, is, what are poblilos? Poblano chiles. Oh, chiles. It's, okay. Yes, it's a chili, not too spicy. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of chicken broth. If you don't have <laughs> chicken broth, you can just do water. Salt and pepper it a little bit. If you're short on time, get a good quality store-bought salsa verde. Okay. And then you just spruce it up if you want to add a little bit of cilantro. In your case, not, of course. <laughs> we quickly zip this. <laughs> but it's good. It's... I was prepared. It's delicious. You don't even taste the cilantro. No. Because the tomatillo has a lot of acidity, so it's nice to balance it out. So this is the sauce. We've simmered it. It's nice and warm. They're waiting to see if I double dip. <laughs> We're going to add a little bit of parmesan cheese, a little bit of sour cream, just parmesan a little bit, and sour cream. Now what we do is that we mix it all up. Okay. We're going to pour it in here because we're going to dunk our enchilas, and I'm going to do a little bit right here in our all shredded chicken. chicken. And so what we do, we take our corn tortilla. She's liking it. No, I love what? it. Look, it this is a taste. dunk. Oh, okay. This is a little dunk. That's a soaking. We get it Ingrid. nice and salt. Yeah. <laughs> you can say that. Mm, I love and it then though. what we do is that we fill it with the chicken, shredded chicken. Mm -hmm. If you have a shortcut, just do some rotisserie store bought. Okay. We're going to roll it up. And this we're going to so put good. it face down into the rest that we already had ready. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of the shredded. Cheese on top, bake it, and guess what? Mm. I got some ready to come up and look at how beautiful and delicious. Oh my God. Yes! And it's really good. This is really, you know what? You know how good this is? This is so yes, good. Yes, I do. I'm not even gonna use hot, hot sauce. <laughs> and I use hot sauce on everything. Now, what are we drinking? We are <laughs> starting. Oh, I just spilled my tequila. Oh. Apparently, you've started early. I started early. <laughs> Blood orange sorbet. Okay. Just buy it at the supermarket. That makes for a nice base, gives it nice flavor. If you don't like blood orange, any type of flavor of sorbet will work. Okay. Okay, come on, baby. There you go. By the now, way. Now, tequila. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Perfect. And then we're going to go with the beer. Woo! This is why I like Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Who needs an excuse? <laughs> Interesting. Who needs an excuse oh. for a party, right? What happened? Five second rule or I kiss it up to God? <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Salute, amiga. Salute. Salute, guys! Gotta stir it. That's an interesting combination. 
<laughs> bottoms up? Very interesting. I could deal with this. Bottoms up. For more information on all these delicious recipes, go to wendyshow.com. Ingrid, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks Everything for having me. Everything was delicioso. Ask Wendy is next. Yeah. Ingrid.